Okay, this is a video to show you how to set up your free ASP.NET 4.0 web hosting. Go to www.somee.com, S-O-M-E-E. -E. And scroll to the bottom left, where it says free.NET hosting. Learn more. And again, scroll to the bottom left again. And go ahead and order now. This also includes a Microsoft SQL Server and email. And leave it as a personal. And register, new user, and continue. Okay. Now I have uh, other services in here that I do not want. All I want is the free hosting package. Do not want the VDS package, although I do at some other point in time. Now, you're only allowed to have one despite it listing three here. Let me go ahead and see what happens. Yeah, see, I'm only allowed one per account, so I'll go ahead and delete the other two. Go ahead and continue. Now this is a domain that's going to exist within, a subdomain that will exist within somi.com. So you can actually choose whatever name you wish. And I'm going to go ahead and use Horde. Again, which server you want to use and which .NET version you want to use. And for our course, we want to make sure we select 4.0. Go ahead and give it a course title. Now, we're done, and you can actually now look at your user menu in somi.com. And on the bottom here, we under Manage Products, we'll see our websites, and we'll see our horde.somi.com. We actually see our file manager, our domains, default documents, and so on. Now, we can go ahead and connect to this server with FTP now. So we can go ahead and use our FTP client. In this case, I used FileZilla, which is a free uh, FTP client. And we'll go ahead and go to our URL or our path, horde.somi.com. Go ahead and put in our information and our password and connect. And now you'll see that I'm actually, this is my local drives, and here is my horde.somi.com website. Now I can actually access that website by simply going to my browser and going to horde.somi.com. And there's my website show you in another video on how to actually modify and change this information uh, to support this course. You'll also notice that we do have an ad. Again, that's the consequence of having free hosting.